What's up, everybody? We're at the Bosch booth at World of Concrete for 2020 with Carlos. And Carlos is going to tell us about the new offerings launching like literally today, right? Yes. Yes, sir. Let's get started. Is this it? This is the one. This is the Revolve 4000, guys. So this is what we're introducing this year in World of Concrete 2020. This is where we have invested the majority of our time and put most of our innovation into the product. So you can see it here, this is the rain tank. So one of the coolest features is that if it starts raining on the job site, you don't have to worry about it. You just run, leave it there, and then you can come up, pick it up. Other cool things, when you come back, if you go even for 80 hours, it's still gonna be running because it's 418B compatible. So the great thing about this is that it runs off our 4.0 amp battery. So it's the newest tool that is part of the family of the core 18 v cordless tools, but it's also gonna run with the 8.0. 8.0, you get about 130 hours of power. So the four amp hour and eight amp hour batteries, they're inside a compartment, secure, is that correct? Correct, so yeah, so um, um, many of our competitors claim IP rating of 68, but nobody can claim as we do that the battery compartment is actually gonna be IP68, which actually means that it's dust and water type. So nothing is gonna get in there. It's gonna work through rain and water. Even if it gets dirty, you can put it in water, wash it with a, with, with a hose water, and it'll still be running. It's amazing. Yeah. This works with a receiver? Yes. Um, so we can go in the back and I can show you more about the, the actual functionalities. But the basic idea of this tool is that you're gonna use it for exterior leveling applications. So whenever you're working with extreme job site conditions, when you have like uh, machinery going around, site preparation, you're actually doing road work and some stuff like that. Uh, Footers, this, foundations. Yes, so this is when those tools come in place. Gotcha. So you pair this with a receiver, and this particular one has a 4,000 foot range. Wow. So you can just set a very, very, very large uh, applications. Yeah, so let's go back to the Revolve corner and I can show you guys actually the new lineup because we've been working in the entire revamping, the entire lineup of rotary laser. So come with me, I'll show you around. Let's do this. What kind of tattoo are you getting later on? What's that? So what kind of tattoo are you getting later on? Revolve, of course. You're gonna get a Revolve tattoo? I might. Yo, let me ask you a question. Yes. Are they, are they really tattooing these tattoos? Yeah. And only these tattoos? Yes. And people are getting these tattoos? Look at that. There's two people doing it right now. Oh my God, bro. You're not serious. You're not getting no tattoo. Maybe. I'm gonna get a Revolve. Okay. So what we have right here, guys, is not only we've been working on the actual innovation inside the tools, but we also revamped our entire line of rotary lasers. So what we did is we created the new Bosch sub-brand that it's called Revolve, and we created this new three uh, tiers of products. So it's now very easy for everybody to actually understand and get what they need. So we're bringing a solution for every user. So start off, we have base right here. So it's a Revolve 900. This is for your basic solution, even for interior leveling applications that you need that 1,000 foot range. This guy is gonna get all, all your, your leveling done inside. Next, we have the Revolve 2000 right here. So basically, this one, you're getting a step up from, from the 900. And what you get from this one is a better receiver, and you're also gonna get dual manual slow. So when you start working in great applications, when you need to do inclination, ramps and stuff like that, you can actually work with this in two axes to make sure that you got your create rights. And last but not least, we have the beef right here, what we're calling the people of 4000. So it's our newest uh, newest tool, like I talked right there. Uh, but come with me, I'm gonna take you actually to the Bosch uh, Revolve corner. I can show you actually in detail the functionalities of the tool. So what we have right here, it's uh, 4000, right now it's running. Um, we have five key selling points for this one. So start off, like I said, Core 18B compatibility. So when you open up the store, you're gonna see that our Bosch 8.0 Core 18B battery is right in there. The other cool thing is that it's a connected tool. So you're actually gonna be able to use your phone to manage all the functionalities of the tool. So you can see that here it's connectivity. So you can pair it with your phone and also you can pair it with two receivers at the same time to make use of that dual slope that you get. Another feature that you get uh, so that you have dialing dual slope. So when you're working in this great application, I'll just say that you're working in a field like this and you need to cut some material out, you can actually use and input that percentage of slope that you need to get done in here and the tool is gonna self-level to that specific grade. 
One of the top features from the 4000 we have right now, it's something that we're introducing with the with this tool, it's called UCAL or user calibration. What that means is that you can do calibration for the tool on the job site on your own. So following the app, you can actually get a calibrated tool back to 1 16th of an inch. What you get with that is no tool downtime and you actually are not spending money to sending that tool into a calibration center. So recalibrating this tool, yes. what's involved? I mean, is this spinning it on certain axis? How do you recalibrate that? Yeah, so it's actually super simple. So we have two ways of doing it. Right here we have it set up so you can see the receiver it's on that container right there. Okay. And basically what you do is you set up your receiver. Once you have your set your receiver set up, ideal situation is going to be at 100 foot of distance and then what you're going to be doing is making sure that each side of the tool is going to be level at the same point. So via the connection of the receiver to the tool, they're going to talk to each other and they're going to level it for you. So it's doing the work for you. You just have to follow the instructions either on the tool or in your phone. Okay. And in a process that, long, that takes about 10 minutes, you're good to go back to So it. about 10 minutes is what it will take. Yeah. How much does this thing cost? Uh, all right. So we have four executions for this one. Uh, the one that we have right now for the show, we actually have a promo that it's $2,099. It comes with a tripod rod, receiver, and it's actually gonna come with an extra receiver. Given that this is 4,000 foot range, you can actually use it with two receivers at the same time, which is great. Um, but it's a super competitive price. It gets all the user needs solved, and it's an amazing tool that it would last forever. That is amazing. So price point on the 900 and the, and the 2000? Yeah, so the cool thing is that now it's very easy. We have a solution for every user. So starting with the 900, it's 599. The 2000, it's 899. And the 4000, it's 2099. Yeah. Carlos, we appreciate it. Thank, Thank you, you so much. much. So I, I'll assume you have a heating element in there? Exactly. So in the form of the Bosch rotator. Pretty, pretty so that's cool. Our, our logo. Um, so you can see the, the thermal difference. I'm gonna, but, but I'm, keep on holding there. I'm going to stand closer to the wall. Oh, yeah. I'm going to stand closer to the wall to stay warm. Oh, that's pretty cool. So I'm sorry, what was your name? Chris. Nice Chris. to meet you. I'm Vince. Nice to meet you. We're here at the Bosch booth at World of Concrete for 2020. It's Chris. We're taking a look at this new thermal. In is this brand new for 2020? Uh, for the United States, it's brand new. So we are selling. We it. always get everything late, Chris. <laughs> Why do we always get everything late? So as you can see, in this wall, you ju you're just seeing it's just a normal graphic, right? But when we put up this thermal imager. You'll see they've inlaid the Bosch logo. It's like a heating element in there. Now, what I find pretty pretty awesome is it will actually show you the hot spots, right? Correct. Can you tell us tell us a little bit more about this thing? So we have two different spots in here. One is the center point, and this is the temperature in the center point. So the center pixel. But then you also have this hotspot running around. It's always looking for the hottest pixel in the whole image. So now we have the head of the guys over here. Yeah, so he's probably the hottest right now. If I move over to the image again, then we see that the hottest pixel is somewhere here. Wow. That's pretty awesome. It's also good to find heat pipes in the wall before you start drilling. Yeah, it's so awesome. So you switch on the heating and they heat up and you let the heat diffuse to the surface and then you can see where the pipes are and you don't drill into your heating pipe. It runs on it runs on standard 12 volt batteries? Yes, correct. What's what's the cost on this unit and does it come tool only? I already had these batteries so can I buy this tool only and how much is the cost of that and then how much is it? Okay. And by this tool, the cost is twelve hundred dollars. Okay. It comes with a battery and with a charger. Okay. Do we? There is no bare tool option. There is, uh, as far as I know, no bare tool option. Probably, probably not here in North America, but in Europe, they <laughs> probably in Europe no, they have in a bare Europe, tool. We do not have a bare tool option. There you go. In Europe, we don't. Well, thank you, Chris. We appreciate it. You're welcome. Enjoy the show. I appreciate it. Thank you so much. Hello, everyone. My name is Vince. So, this is a deep concrete sensor so you're saying a space is big you want to come across and then up and down and you can you can pretty much clear that area is that, is that yeah I got you and this will detect ferrous and non ferrous it won't it won't tell you though if there's voltage like yes, it, will. it will tell you if there's a voltage so what we have here is it says wall scanner detect 150 so I'm just going to assume that this is part of the wall scanner line that's 
why it has wall scanner on it? Or, or, or this is a wall scanner, but we can use this on concrete? This is a, con a wall scanner or something different. So wall scanner, you're thinking, you know, for drywall, something along that. We're talking about concrete walls. Yes, this is concrete, so this is what you want to use. Yeah, you, the, the, product, the product is called wall scanner, so you are, you are scanning the, the concrete. Foundation walls. You can scan the drywalls as well, uh, whatever you want. Uh, up to 15 centimeters deep in a, deep in a, in a concrete. So, so six, 50, what's that? Up to six feet. Up to six feet? Inches, sorry. Up oh. to six inches. 15 centimeters threw me off. I was gonna say, wow. inches. it's unbelievable. Yeah. yeah, up to six inches, you can uh, you can detect uh, the deepness into the concrete dip. So, so we need to, we need to just roll across the concrete. Yeah, you roll across. I, I saw something SC. about pressure, but does yep. it matter how much pressure we apply to this tool? Does it matter? Uh, it does ju just the matter if you don't slippery the wheels. So all the wheels must be running together. So oh. you need to put a little bit of pressure, but not much. I got you. So, okay. Uh, we're rolling through here, right? And it w w it, you have to just get, I have to get used to, to how this would work, right? But we can see the sensor. If you come in here, and I'll assume this simulates, this is the sensor, those are the two wheels. It's, Perfect. it's scanning down six inches. So you following how that actually looks? This is the sensor. Those are the wheels. This is the concrete we're scanning through up to six inches deep. Perfect. Here, we see an object. This is the surrounding concrete. Now, I will, I'm seeing a void here. I don't necessarily know what that is. So if we scroll over or roll over, I'm seeing hash lines. So that I, I'll assume that's concrete. As we roll over here, I see a void. But yep. why? So, why is that? Why so is that? The, this uh, this line here, like the dark line, is, is where you did not scan yet. That is why. So all the clear ones is uh, what we already uh, scanned, it. and this the the red uh, the black dot. Or yes. the circle is what you found it. It's some object. Okay. So, so here in this case, uh, it's a tube here. So we, we can we can see this, right? So we can yeah. see this tube. So if you go further, yes. you will start to scan a new area and you will see like that the Oh so the dark now area it will it's get turning clear. clear. And then yeah. So then here I ah. go and I go back. So I found something. I pass over, okay. And then I go back again. See, I push and me then out of the way. Find the, 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 the material. So then here on the top, I say like this material is two inches deep. Okay. So it's telling you how deep it is too. Exactly. And that's what I can do with this. Uh, as you said, these are the the two wheels. Yes. So I can come here and I can mark. There is a place here that I can mark. And I go to the other side and I mark the other this oh, other side. Nice. And when I take off the product, I would have exactly where the material That's awesome. is. That is awesome. Okay, now we lift it and reset the tool. Reset the tool and then you, you put it back, press start and you start to scan again. Okay, so then we put it down, we would hit start and then we would, we would scroll left to right, right to left. Am I started here? Yeah. Okay, so I'm, I'm gonna lift it. I messed up. All right, I lifted it, it reset itself. We're gonna put it back down. We're gonna hit start. Then we're gonna move. It's actually, okay, it's flashing left. We're gonna scroll left. You see, as we're scrolling left, you see that, that lighter shaded area is giving the all clear in the concrete. Now we had a little flash. Why did why did we flash red? Because it it's detected like, an object. Because, yeah, exactly. So it detected the object. We got a, a red flash, and we could scroll over, clear the rest of the area, and then we could scroll back and clear clear the rest. We're gonna scroll through, and it, those hash marks will disappear to clear it out. Boom! We found our our next object, which was another pipe. Yeah, you go. You need to go on back. Yeah. So it's up here. Is that what we're saying? It's up yeah, here. Yeah, you go. You, you always detect. You go. Yes. And you go back just to clear because sometimes you find something, but you, you need to pass over the material. So my question is: Is there a third pipe in here? No. It, maybe it's getting something, some, some, some metal here just, just under the pipe. 
sometimes detects like a little bit further. Gotcha. And this will detect ferrous, non-ferrous metals. Yeah, and plastic. Plastic. Empty and fill, fill up with water. Empty and filled with water and electric? Electric as well. When you detect electric, it will uh, flash, flash back and, and make forth. a noise because it's more dangerous uh, for the user. That's nuts. Yeah. That's the second time it picked that up. Yeah, sometimes it's a piece of like an aggregate, like some big piece of, um, I don't know, some, some aggregate in the... That's why, that's also like here it tells you that it's uh, metal ferrous metal and if you go like this one let's see what it said we'll probably say no metal or something like this that's kind of like aggregate yeah so no metal so probably something that it's in huh. some piece of something inside the that's the concrete. nuts i can't believe how intelligent this thing is yeah what kind of batteries does it take double a's uh it's four double a's four double a batteries let me ask you is there not a does Bosch like plan on maybe doing a, a, a version that will run on maybe a 12 volt rechargeable battery or something? Maybe. Let's see what, what's coming up for what's coming up next. So we are always bring, uh, bringing some uh, innovation for the market. You know, the thing is, is that especially with so, I, I, 12 volts is the, is the future. So for sure, the next next um, next products will have 12 volts. You know, let's just say I have a, I have a general contractor. There's a general contractor. I have a job. I'm going to use this tool. Okay. Problem is, I'm not going to use it frequently, right? Okay. These AA batteries. You know, they, they sometimes you store this away for a little while. They corrode. They yep. and then they ruin the tool. Yes. The, the 12 volt batteries, right? Unless. If I'm using them with other tools, I, you know, I'm gonna take it off, recharge it, blah, blah, blah. I don't have to worry about destroying the tool as well. You know what I mean? I yep. think the 12 volt makes a lot of sense. It does. But what do I know? I don't know much. <laughs> Lithium batteries are the future, so. That's pretty awesome. What's what was your name? Point? Uh, Ricardo. Ricardo. What's the price point on this, Ricardo? Eight ninety nine, and we are an offer for six ninety nine. So right now it's on special. How long is the special running? Just for World of Concrete? Just for World of Concrete. You better get it while you're getting good. Ricardo, thank you. We appreciate it. Everybody, we'll see you on the next one. Video's over, but I know you want more. So this is how you're going to get it. First thing you need to do is pretend you're this guy. And you're here at the birthplace of freedom. Now ring that bell like it's 1776 and let all notifications through. What? You're not subscribed yet? Well, smash this button here. After that, watch this video here, here, and maybe over here. See you later.